Good morning, everybody, and this is your Forex Day Trade Setups for today. So starting off with uh, Euro USD, we've got a triangle break for the downside and then immediately came back to test the apex of the triangle. And what looks like at the moment is it's probably going to go above the triangle to the other side and back. Um, one of the reasons why I don't like trading these uh, triangle breakouts, it more often than not turns out to be a, uh, a range of sorts. So um, just pay attention to the structure at the moment. If we come down to the hour, you're going to see it really relatively clearly. You can see a nice break, uh, then a bit of confusion, and then a further break. And then buyer stepped in, and I just driven this thing all the way back up to the 155 EMA at the moment, uh, which is kind of what happens, comes back to the apex of the triangle. So for me, uh, pretty much back in the sideways channel, not really interested in, in this at the moment. Do have a bit of diversions here. So... Uh, possibly a 15 minute trade at the open and I'd wait for the first bit of the month sort of the first 15 minutes of the market to open this morning uh, that would be my stop area at 112.983 so just above that and then I'm looking for some form of structure here and a break below that structure so I'm not saying jump in there but what I'm looking for is either a pin bar or I'm looking for a engulfing bar uh, as soon as you see that, then you want to break. And so let's say this structure forms in this area. I want to be in on a short, on a break of the structure. That's the only thing that I can see at the moment. Um, if I don't see that, then I'm not, if, or if I don't get it, then I'm not interested in that. So we'll sit on side until something like that happens. Um, moving on to US dollar Japanese yen, still not interested in this pair. Uh, we are still sideways. You can see most of last week was sideways and this week has been sideways. Oscillators at the moment, um, a part like that normally indicates a pretty big move if they do cross over. So that would mean a rejection of the moving averages and then a move down. And that move down, I think, will be capped either by the 155 EMA. Um, just get a value there for you, 113, 1855, or alternatively at 112, 749. So uh, if you get down to the hour, you'll see nothing worth trading there. We are sideways and we are consolidating. So if you look at this on a Bollinger Band, you'll see the Bollinger Bands will start squeezing here. And uh, on on and in the moving averages. Do have a grouping to the downside, but there's so much. Uh, the might as well toss a coin, should I say. So we're staying out of that. Um, the higher time frames got indicating one direction, lower time frames another. That's just confusion. Uh, moving on to the pound, uh, British pound, Japanese yen, also sideways still. No real structure here. You can see the levels I gave you yesterday still in play. Um, nothing really to to write home about. We did start off relatively strong, but uh, you know we came back. You would have expected pullback onto structure, and the pullback failed. Came all the way back down into the moving averages. So um, that is not something I want to be trading. We need to get above. 159.52 or we need to drop below 149.327. That's pretty much the only areas that I uh, will start getting interested in this pair. Uh, lastly, Euro British Pound uh, surprised me a bit yesterday because I was expecting a, a break below this area of 084.897. Not quite over just yet, but uh, it is sideways. Uh, if we come to the one hour, You'll see what I'm talking about. So lots of tails to the upside, lots of tails to the downside. Looks like barbed wire, and uh, that is an indication of confusion. Oscillators group to the upside again. Um, these two levels are still the ones that are in play for me. I need a break below 084.897, or I need a break above 085.262 for me to start looking at this pair. Okay, so anyway, um, sit on hands for Forex at the moment uh, until something happens. Hope it helps and uh, we will catch up with you uh, tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.